Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Dustin. In today's video, we're gonna be doing another tech review. The PortKeys HH7. This right here is a field monitor made by PortKeys. It is a seven inch monitor. It is a super bright monitor. That you can pretty much use in any setting. It's super bright. You can see it uh, even in bright daylight. It's a 1200 NIT uh, high bright monitor. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this thing and talk about it. All right, let's do that now. Alright guys, uh, so it's really really nothing complicated inside the box. You basically have your monitor, you have the DTAP cable which allows you to externally power uh, your devices. That right there is really really functional for the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K. Uh, if you don't know, the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K is horrible with battery life and uh, being able to externally power uh, the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K uh, with something like this that can hold up to two NPF Sony batteries is pretty amazing. You're able to limit your need for extra batteries and you can go uh, longer shoots throughout the day with something uh, just like this. So super, super nice that they have that. Uh, as you can see, it's got two battery slots. There's one here and then there's one here. This gives you longer and more battery power, but at the same time, you're able to hot swap these batteries. If one of them starts to die, you can swap them as another one's connected and it'll stay powered on the entire time. So keep that in mind when you're using this. This thing will give you a lot more functionality for long shoots, long days, and uh, it will not interrupt your video shoot if need be. Now if, you load, if you'll notice the bottom here, it's got the 4K in and out. You have HDMI in and you have HDMI out. These two uh, actually allow 4K input and output. So you can record directly from the Blackmagic Pocket 4K and uh, you'll still get 4K footage. So if you want to attach another uh, device to this and record with that as well, Externally, you can do that, so you can get, you could still get that 4K quality, uh, which is pretty awesome. I don't know how this will work with the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 6K. I don't know if it's capable to handle that, but I don't know if they've even tried or tested it, so I can't speak to that. But with 4K, you can definitely do that. This is not a 4K display. This is a 1080p display, so keep that in mind when recording. Uh, you're not going to see the 4K quality that you can see on the monitor on the back of the camera, uh, so just keep that in mind. Uh, but most of the time, I mean, I can't really tell the difference. Most monitors that you see on the market for somewhere in a budget range, like $150 to $100, uh, every single time you buy one of those, it's going to come with air, its own hood, which blocks out sunlight. Uh, it kind of separates the light from the rest of the screen. This right here is so bright that you don't need one of those hoods. You can see anything and everything in bright daylight without issues. So that's pretty awesome and pretty major of a monitor move. So, ha, ah, really, really cool. Uh, to be able to do that with a monitor like this. Another big thing that I did want to mention about this, it has this little USB connection at the bottom here. You can use this for uh, updating the firmware, but at the same time, uh, the USB that it comes with, comes with a manual and 3D LUTs. You can actually plug this USB in like so. And then you just go to the menu, go down to the LUT config, USB looks. And this is going to go and browse to the USB itself. You can select the folder, and then we're going to go to that C USB location. And it's got its own 3D LUT pack folder in here. When you go to that, you can find the LUT pack that you want. Uh, for me, obviously, it's going to be the Blackmagic Design, so we're going to go there. And then we're just going to add in a couple of these uh, extra ones. So we'll do Gun Shadow, Warm Highs. It's going to show us adding that right there. And then we're going to add this Grungy Green. It's going to add it into there, and then we'll do a strong contrast. Let's try that out, see how that looks. You know what, we're going to do a vibrant also just to see how cool that is. And once we have that added in there, we're just going to click exit all the way back, and then we can go to the menu one more time. And if you go back to the LUT config, you can actually select those LUTs. So it says stored from USB, that's going to be going to the, the ones that we just added. And you can just select those, and it'll automatically 
uh, highlight those and display them uh, as your 3D LUT. Pretty cool. They're all cube files, so if you wanted to, also you can copy and paste your own uh, cube uh, 3D LUTs onto this. So that's very, very helpful and very useful for a lot of us, especially those using like Blackmagic cameras and not DSLRs. You use a lot more LUT, 3D LUTs and uh, color correcting uh, LUTs like that to, to help and really see what your scene is gonna be. If you notice on the back here, it's got four of these little function switches. These four switches, you can set them to pretty much anything uh, that is in the settings itself. So if you look here on the actual camera, when you go into the menu settings, you'll see all these extra options like input source, guides, video config, system config, LUT config, function setup. You can go to all of those settings all by these little uh, function switches, which is really cool. So you can uh, adjust your guides, set your guides, uh, turn on peaking, turn on zebras, turn on false color, uh, crosshairs, brightness, contrast, uh, color temperature, aspect ratio, display flip, all these types of things you can do that all with these little function buttons. And not to mention it has all those capabilities in this monitor. Uh, and I'll actually go through the menu and show you exactly what all is on this thing and how capable it is. Uh, the focus peaking on this is actually uh, incredibly good. I was really surprised. For those of you uh, that have watched this channel, uh, you, you'll see that I've actually been learning a lot more about focus peaking lately and I've been actually using a lot more manual uh, lenses and cameras lately because it just seems to be something that I'm more comfortable with. And having a set setting, it really makes it really, really nice and uh, you can really get some really crisp, uh, sharp video out of it. Having that on there really makes it a big deal and helps out a lot. I do want to talk about a few things that I really enjoy about this uh, little monitor. Um, first of all, uh, kudos to PortKeys for making something that's really intuitive. Um, Blackmagic Designs, their, their operating system is really, really easy to use and really smart. And their actual camera functionality is really good with their buttons and function buttons. And I really feel like they did a good job in just keeping it simple and making it easy to use, especially for people that are shooting video and trying to do something quick and in a hurry. It makes it a lot more easy to keep something that simple. PortKeys seems to have done the same thing with their setup. Uh, if, one of the things that I really enjoy about the Blackmagic is the scroll wheel on the front. I can adjust my uh, aperture, my ISO, and my shutter speed with that little scroll wheel and the three buttons on the top. They have a similar setup on here, and you can actually go to the menu using this scroll wheel as well. Just by tapping it one time, you go to that little menu that comes on there. So we'll turn it on and you just tap that and that goes directly to the menu. You can scroll through this with quick and ease. It works really well. And then right next to that is the exit button. So you just exit right out. Super, super easy to use, super fast. <laughs> just amazing. I have other monitors. Their buttons are mostly click buttons. They have no none of these scroll wheels. And it just makes it a lot more time consuming to change something. Especially something like flipping the monitor upside down. If you need to flip the monitor, uh, for reverse shooting or something of that sort. It's such a pain, but this one you can actually do all of those things with just that little scroll wheel in really, really fast time. Not to mention, this actually has these cool little function buttons on the back. Uh, it's got F1, 2, 3, and 4. If you don't know, the Blackmagic Pocket 4K actually has three function buttons on the top, and those are super, super nice. I actually have them set up with false color, uh, 3D LUTs, activation, and the guide, so I can turn all those off and on whenever I want. By having these, you can do exactly the same thing with this monitor, and that makes it amazing. It makes it super easy for you to go in, tap a button, turn something off and on, and it, <laughs> it just turns it off and on. So you don't have to go through that little menu. Even though it's easy, it just gives you that much extra timing so that you don't have to waste time scrolling through and adjusting settings. So definitely a cool thing that came into, the, came into play with this HH7. Uh, not to mention, it has these nice uh, mounting points all over this thing. You got one on the bottom, left and right, even the top. So you can have a mounting portion on all angles of this little monitor. Uh, the USB is super nice. You can add your LUTs uh, through that and you can even do your firmware updates. Super, super nice. Uh, the external power uh, works super well. I have to get the DTAP adapter to connect to my Blackmagic Pocket 4K uh, so that I can actually power my camera from this guy. So I had no idea when I purchased it that it had that option, but knowing that now it's going to make it a lot better for me in the future, especially considering it has the NPF dual battery swappables on the back. Uh, most of you may not know this, but it actually has wireless receiving on this. Um, PortKeys actually makes a wireless transmitter that you can connect to your camera, and this device can actually connect to it as well. 
and wirelessly receive. If you go here on the top, uh, it's got this input button. If you click it once, it goes to wireless video. Uh, this pretty much gives you the ability to communicate wirelessly uh, through the transmitter that Portkeys makes. Uh, I will say that in order for you to use something like that, you'll have to have that kit because it is proprietary and you need to connect it to the back of this camera uh, using this little cover here. Uh, it's got this little adapter on the back so you can modify this, which is pretty cool. So that gives you functionality for later if you plan on getting something like that. So <laughs> I just got to say it's amazing. Uh, for something so cheap of $250, you really get a lot in such a small little body. Um, I'm really, really happy about this. I can't tell you how excited I am to use this thing and continue to shoot video with the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K. We've got a couple car show events. We've got a couple things that we're going to be doing in the next couple months. Uh, and this thing right here is going to make it so much easier, especially for me being out in the sunlight. I won't have to carry around a monitor with the hood anymore and have something, something that's not going to be able to power uh, my camera all day. This guy right here, I uh, won't have to carry as many batteries, but I'll be able to use this in the external power battery power pack. Let's go ahead and add this monitor onto the actual camera itself and show you guys what the monitor looks like when I attach it to the Blackmagic Pocket 4K. Uh, keep in mind that I just received this monitor and uh, I have just been trying to figure out how to mount it. So uh, we'll see how it mounts on here and see how it looks. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Alright, so now that you've seen what the actual camera setup looks like, I will say it looks amazing. Uh, the biggest thing and the biggest difference for me is the brightness of this monitor. It really helps for me to see in the daylight and nighttime and actually see clearly on the screen sometimes. I have a little bit of an issue with uh, seeing the focus peaking on my other monitors and this guy actually shows it pretty clearly and pretty bright so I'm really happy about that because that's going to help me improve my video and uh, get things in more focus, unlike what I'm probably doing right now with this monitor. I don't know how good a quality it is, but we'll find out in post what it looks like. Well, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to leave a comment below if you have any questions, and I will do my best to answer them as soon as possible. Also, feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you've been interested in more of this. Uh, I'll try to get more videos out like this in the future. Uh, I definitely want to look into getting more of these Portkeys HH7 and other monitors because they just make really good high quality products and a lot of people on the Facebook page are actually recommending these so if you have a camera that needs a monitor definitely check out Portkeys. Alright guys I'll see you in the next one. Peace.